what I have here is the GKU M11. It's a dash cam. It's a touch screen rear view mirror. Um, we're going to check this out today. Packaging. It's got really uh, nice crisp pictures on it. Uh, font's pretty good. Box looks really excellent. So they did a real nice job on that. Didn't find any uh, errors. Everything is spelled correctly. So let's get it unboxed. Now looky there, we have her unboxed. So what you get is the dash cam itself. So this is, let's get this peel off here. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty nice and shiny. Anyway, this is full HD. It's got an 11 inch IPS touch screen. This bad boy here has 4K and 1080p resolutions with 170 degree wide angle lens. Um, the front and the rear lens both use uh, dual lenses. They're using the IMX 415 and the uh, IMX 307 from Sony. And that would be uh, this one here. Got a little peel on it too. Um, won't come off of there. There we go. Got her. So both of those will have uh, crystal clear images and uh, they're going to be awesome for low light situations and brightness balancing. So let's continue on. Um, the one that goes over the mirror is uh, the lens fully rotates so you can adjust it to any angle position you need. And along with that it also extends. That'll be helpful. So you can, uh, if you have a longer mirror or if you need to reach further. So, so a nice little ball swivel there. Slide in and out. Uh, Test screen. These are the four rubber mounts they sent you. Um, two is a spare, I would take it. Um, they just go on the clips here. You just hook one over. Place the mirror on, wrap it around to the other side, and it pulls it really snug. That's how they'll be held on in your vehicle, unless you choose to mount it somewhere else. Anyway, we got USB power here. Um, we got the AVN, which is the rear cam, and then it's got a GPS and Wi-Fi. Um, this said it didn't come with an SD card, but there is one in here, and they sent me uh, an actual GKU branded 64 gig card. That's pretty nice of them. Um, this supports 32 gig up to 256 gig. Anything over 32 gig, I believe, says it needs to be formatted for FAT32. So this one also has Wi-Fi and app control. So that's pretty sweet. So you get the Wi-Fi here for real-time tracking. And then with the app, you can make it easy to share and to download the videos that you need. Um, here's the power plug. And they were nice enough to build in a USB charger for you. It's also a plus. And uh, the rear view camera here has 20 foot of cable, I believe it said. So that's pretty awesome. Got some screws for it, along with some uh, squishy sticky pads, help with vibration. Get the GKU warranty card. And of course the user manual. That's always handy. Um, this features 24 hour parking guard with vibration and motion sensing. Um, you'll need an optional hardwire, so you always have power on on it. And also features a G sensor for auto saving during an accident. And you still have manual save modes. Um, you got loop recording. So it's pretty awesome. We'll get it put in the car next. Get it checked out. Check out that 4K and 1080.
All right, guys. We're out here in the car. I got the GKU touchscreen dash cam. Um, there are several ways to wire this, and I got the reverse cam too. There's a couple options. Um, you can put it in your back window just for viewing and recording, and then you can put it on the back by your license plate for a reverse camera. I already have a reverse camera, so we're just gonna put this in the back window today and uh, see how it looks. It's got a 20 foot cord, and we'll have to run the power and run it over through the pillar. So let's get it done. Nice. All right, it's all installed. Nice little boot up, GKU. I don't know if you can see that screen on there. It is pretty bright. So let's take a look. It says I'm recording in 4K. It's your time. Date, G sensor's on. Um, the inside voice recording is off. And then if you go here to your settings, you have all your options that you can change. Language, speaker volume. It's very loud. I had to turn mine to low because it's so loud. It was on medium even. Um, you can turn the Wi-Fi on from here. Let's go back. The 360 ball here lets you adjust whatever you need. If you swipe this way, there's the rear cam view. It's just in my uh, rear windshield right now. And on this screen, you can actually adjust the angle ever so slightly. That's pretty awesome. So there she is for that. Let's go back. Um, here's the split screen view so you can watch and record both at the same time. So there it is. I'll show you how I kind of hooked it up and then uh, we'll take it for a drive and I'll show you some actual footage from it. I apologize for the lighting. I know it's hard to see, but this is the rear view cam and I just stuck it here to the glass, curved the wire, and then tucked it behind the liner here, all the way back to the pillar. And then right there is where I stopped at the moment. I gotta finish we it. We have the camera off or no power to it. It turns into a mirror. So that's pretty awesome, which you can still see. Here's some actual uh, dash cam footage from the camera. Um, here comes the sheriff driving through uh, small town USA here. Um, both cameras are uh, crystal clear. They got uh, excellent picture and uh, color to them. Go by the park and the pool here. But here's the front and the rear view. So it's an excellent camera. Make sure you check out the link in the description. I'll catch you on the next one.